Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. Trying something a little bit new today. This is going to be a broadcast style video, so hopefully you like it. It's going to be basically one take, so there's going to be some flubs along the way, I'm sure. So thank you for bearing with me as I try out this new style. Today's topic is full self-driving beta. And more specifically, I want to talk about full self-driving and winter. So for those of us who live in a winter climate where we experience four seasons of, um, well, four seasons of seasons? <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, the question is whether or not we'll be able to use full self-driving in the winter. So I personally think it's going to be a little bit of a three season type of feature. And I'm gonna to explain to you why in this video. So let's get started. Before we get too deep into it, let's just do a quick refresher of the technology that the Teslas use to achieve the full self-driving beta and eventually actual full self-driving. So there are basically three systems here. The first are the cameras and there are eight of them around the vehicle. There are ultrasonic sensors also around, wrapped around the front and wrapped around the back. And those are to detect the uh, potential collisions and you know assist with parking and those type of close proximity things. And then there's a front facing radar, which uh, sees ahead of the vehicle 160 meters uh, for feet. I think, you know, multiply that by 3.3, whatever that is. So that's basically the technology that is being used. I actually have a model. I have a model of a Model 3 and I can show you actually on the vehicle here. So the front facing, there's three cameras right here in the front uh, windshield. And if we turn the car to the side, we see there's a repeater camera right here. And then this one is the B pillar camera. And then finally on the back, we have a camera right there. And I'll turn around to the front again. And uh, we have ultrasonic sensors that wrap around on the back, ultrasonic sensors that wrap around. And finally, again, we have the front facing radar, which is right about here. So that, gives you a little bit of context into the technology that's being used uh, in the Tesla vehicles. So what is the problem? <laughs> like, why is winter going to be a problem? Well, let me first start by telling you why it's not a problem. And you're gonna be surprised at this probably. Uh, and then after that, I'll tell you what the problem actually is. So what isn't the problem? The problem is not going to be the cameras and snow accumulating on top of the cameras. And the reason for this is that since 2016, the cameras in the vehicle with AP 2.0 are all heated. And this is something that maybe you didn't know. And I kind of thought that they were, but until I did the research for this video, I wasn't entirely sure. This is a uh, article from Electric. I'm gonna link it below. It's a, it's a great article that explains it. And what I'm gonna do is let's just quickly look at this video and uh, not this video at this web page. <laughs> I'm just going to scroll down and we can see there's some thermal shots here and the cameras are clearly heated. So in terms of the snow accumulating on the cameras, that's not going to be an issue for full self driving. These heated cameras are going to just melt that snow away. Now you might be thinking if it's not the, cameras, then what about the front facing radar? Because we know that there's been lots of stories of snow accumulating in the, let me show you again, in the front here, snow accumulates and blocks the, the radar. So the interesting thing about that, and let's take a look at the uh, other, another article here. And I'm gonna just scroll down through. I'm gonna get back to this, the title of this uh, story in a moment, but there's something else I wanna show you first. Now, in terms of the front facing radar and why I don't think that's gonna be an issue for full self driving in the winter is that Elon has also said that radar is just a plus and that it won't be really required. It's kind of like an icing thing. It's, it's the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, but it's not really required because the goal with the full self-driving system that Tesla's building is that the cameras are going to see like a human would see. And if a human can 
see through the snow to drive, then in theory, so will the cameras be able to. So that's why I think that the radar is not really something that's going to determine whether or not full self-driving is going to be a three season or four season feature. And I'll scroll back up here to the title of this article. And again, this is another article from Electric that I'm gonna link below. Now the Model Ys appear to be equipped with a radar heater in the front. So uh, maybe a little bit of a contradiction in what Elon had said previously in terms of, of the radar not really being needed. Uh, so that's a little bit up in the air. But if cameras are indeed going to be the primary system and they're gonna see like a human, then I do think that the radar is not gonna be so much of an issue in terms of the snow buildup on the radar. Okay, so it's not the radar and it's not the snow accumulation. So what the heck is it then? What is the problem with full self-driving in the wintertime? I'm gonna show you a series of pictures here and I think it's gonna become very clear when I show them to you. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. <laughs> This is a picture of our Model X from last winter. And as you can see, it is absolutely caked in road salt. So in my opinion, road salt is actually going to be the problem here for full self-driving in the winter. Many uh, countries, territories that experience a winter use road salt to melt the ice on the road so that cars aren't slipping and sliding all over the place. Uh, some use dirt and gravel, other stuff. Uh, you know, equally, your car ends up looking like this. Now let's take a close-up. Look, this is a close-up. Look, this is our Model 3 from last winter. And this is a close-up of the repeater camera on the driver's side. And you can see that the road salt cakes up over the camera. Now there appears to be some kind of oleophobic coating of some sort. But you can see that the, nonetheless, the camera is pooched. We've got like a, like a blotch like right over where the camera would see. And this camera is not going to work for full self-driving. Likewise, this is what the rear camera looks like. And it's even worse. It's just totally caked in road salt. And this camera is not going to work for full self-driving either. So if what Elon is saying that the cameras are the primary way that full self-driving is going to work, then this to me is the winter issue right here, this road salt problem, or whether it's dirt or whatever it is that where you live, what they throw down on the roads to make sure that cars aren't sliding all over the place. So that to me is the winter problem. So let me know, what do you think? Uh, you know, you saw the pictures, you saw the road salt. What do you think the solution to this problem is? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. If you think otherwise, I'm also interested to hear. Maybe I'm missing something. But basically, that's the way I see it. I think full self-driving is going to be a three-season feature for those of us who experience a winter. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe. Uh, button. Click the like button if you like this video. I'll see you again next week. Tesla Connect, over and out.